I'm Jillian Griggs with the six on your side headlines. The Boise Fire Dive Team rescued a man from a possible drowning in the Park Center Pond last night. The call came in just before 9 o'clock. Boise firefighters say two witnesses saw a man go underwater in the pond and never come up. Divers found the man nearly a half hour later. First responders started CPR immediately and rushed him to a nearby hospital. Firefighters in eastern Idaho say they expect to have the sheep fire fully contained by this evening. The fire burned more than 113,000 acres near the Idaho National Laboratory. It started Monday evening by lightning. INL operations are now back to normal. And a heads up if you're heading to the Sawtooths this weekend. Stage 1 fire restrictions are in place on all public and private lands, roads, and trails in the city of Ketchum. That means unattended fires and campfires are prohibited in the city, as well as smoking, except within an enclosed vehicle, building, or designated site. The fire chief in Ketchum says the restrictions are in place to try and decrease the chance of preventable fires. Right now, let's take a look at our forecast on this Friday with Rachel Garso. Hey, Rachel. Hey there, Jillian. Well, our hot weather continues today, but it will look a little bit different out there as we do have cloud cover that is moving in from the south. Temperatures do dip a little bit in response to that, but still seasonably hot. 92 for Boise today, 91 in Mountain Home, upper 80s with mostly cloudy skies in the Magic Valley and still mid 80s up in our mountain locations. However, we are watching the possibility of some thunderstorms this afternoon as that cloud cover brings in that monsoon moisture from the south. So some storms are possible in the eastern mountains, eastern Oregon, even across the Treasure Valley. Some models are hinting at the chance of just a spotty storm here and they're developing late in the day today. The chance of it is very slim, but all the ingredients are out there, so it's worth a mention as you plan your Friday afternoon. Again, most folks will escape the storm activity, but don't be surprised by a couple of rumbles of thunder and some flashes of lightning, maybe even some quick moving showers. Now over the weekend, the clouds clear away, but we will start a little cloudy Saturday, which leads to a very warm start to our weekend. 70 degrees is all we'll see for our overnight low in Boise tonight into tomorrow morning, and then the heat ramps up. We'll see mid 90s Saturday and Sunday, upper 90s to kick off uh, the week next week, and then we'll head into the month of August on Thursday with mid 90s and lots of sunshine. For your very latest news and weather headlines, remember you can always visit sixonyourside.com.